Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss the concept of RESTful API web services before we delve deeper into Spring Boot development because it is incredibly important for you to understand this concept. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. <coughs> wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal mursaleen. Sayyiduna Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen. Warda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'een. Allahumma amin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala alihi Muhammad. كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم <تصفيق> وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد We begin in the name of Allah the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter We thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us for they are innumerable and we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his followers. Firstly, let us discuss the acronyms that you see before you. RESTful API. REST without the full restful is a pun because it is full of rest re stands for representational s for state and t for transfer though i could be mistaken about this honestly it does not matter the true definition of the acronym is irrelevant as long as you understand the concept that is what is most important and API stands for Application Programming Interface. <clears throat> Again, you do not need to know what it uh, is, what it abbreviates to, or what it what is the abbreviation. You need only know what RESTful means and what API means. We will begin with API because there are different types, such as RESTful and SOAP. I honestly do not remember what SOAP stands for. All I know is that it is used in particular context. For example, monetary transfers through financial institutes such as banks use SOAP APIs because they are more secure than RESTful APIs. But I honestly do not remember what SOAP stands for. I honestly do not believe it is that important. Anyways, <coughs> that is my personal opinion. What is an application programming interface? It is a, co a communicative channel between two programs or two applications. How so? Let us say that you are designing your own website or your own forum, website or forum, however you wish to label it. I will use the term website, but you can call it a forum if you would like. On that website or on that forum, you would like to enable a functionality that allows you to embed YouTube videos on your website. Let us say you are creating a blog or a, a, a thread or a post on your website or forum. And in that blog post or thread, while you are typing, you wish to embed or insert a YouTube video associated with your blog, thread, or post. You could paste a link and people click it. Then when they click it, they will be routed to YouTube itself. However, you may wish to create conveniences for your readers to streamline the process. Instead of having the reader click on the link 
and then have that link route the user to YouTube and let's just say here is YouTube the YouTube website <coughs> here you could have a web uh, a link to the video https <coughs> youtube.com slash I will call it video one let us say here you could have the link on your thread people will click the link then once they click the link they will be redirected to YouTube but that means they will have to watch it on YouTube then if if you have text here then your video link here then more text here that means your reader will have once they finish the video they will have to return if you wish to create conveniences for your reader instead of having a link that directs them to YouTube you could present or display the video in its entirety on your website that way you avoid this mechanic or this form of navigation instead of having that oh, okay your reader will be focused solely here so I will create this a bit wider to indicate there is a video here instead of a link this allows your reader to remain localized here without having to redirect to YouTube you could argue that this would assist in creating a lazy generation and I will agree with you on that but <coughs> with the deficit in attention of people in this day and age considering they have turned into mindless zombies that are addicted to the internet and social media if you redirect your reader to YouTube they might become distracted with stupid videos there and m fail to return to your website so it would be easier if you have the video here the question would be how would you be able to grab the video from YouTube and embed it or insert it into your own website here you have two applications or two programs your website websites are applications or programs and YouTube in order to contact YouTube and then retrieve the video from YouTube and insert it into your website you need a communicative channel let us say this is the channel this channel will allow your website to communicate with YouTube and retrieve this video that way it is inserted or embedded in your website instead of having your reader navigated or routed to YouTube this communicative channel is API Now, if you check YouTube or YouTube, which is the correct pronunciation in my opinion, actually, YouTube API, uh -huh. YouTube Data API for developers. Obviously, consumers will not be bothered with this. Here you can read how you can retrieve a video from YouTube and embed it or insert it into your website through the API documentation. There are APIs for many services. I even remember a Lord of the Rings API. <laughs> which retrieves information regarding the different books, 
possibly the movies too. I honestly do not remember, but I know books and possibly characters, biographies, timelines, and so on and so forth. It is a grand project, obviously. I simply do not find it interesting, mainly because I do not like the Lord of the Rings. The world building is rather... How should I phrase this? Lacking rather extensively in my opinion anyways so you can use apis to access many services these services normally have a database youtube has its database and in that database the videos are contained which means that this api contacts youtube then contacts the database of YouTube to retrieve this particular video and embed it or insert it into your website. That Lord of the Rings API accesses the creator's database where he or she has created that, in, uh, that collection or that shall we say, saga or legacy or project or application that involves a database for books, characters, movies, and so on and so forth. If you wish to retrieve such information from that database, you will need this communicative channel, also known as API. I'm sorry, I have to take this. I will return shortly. Apologies for that, I have returned. That is what the API does as, a, as its purpose, to create this communicative channel, to gain access to a database of another <coughs> application. Obviously, if the API does not exist, then you would not be able to establish this communicative channel. And there are many APIs that you can utilize. The famous one that people tend to use for tutorials would be Weather API. Perhaps there is a particular name for it. I honest, uh, open, open Weather Map, yes. This API allows you to retrieve information related to weather and meteorology. But again, as mentioned, if the API does not exist, then you will not be able to create the communicative channel. That is why it is called an interface, because it creates an interface between two applications. The reason it is called representational state transfer, I find the name to be slightly misleading, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it will become more apparent later on bi'ithnillah and God willing when we delve deeper into the Spring Boot playlist and obviously when we create our grand final project utilizing Spring Boot and Angular we will cover this in great detail. For now know that it relies on transferring the state of the application. You could think of the state as its, uh, how would I phrase this? What would be synonymous with state in this particular context? Uh, pos position? No, position would not fit. The st mm, status? Okay, let us go with status. An example to elaborate upon state transfer would be as follows. Your website contains a list of names. Those names are loaded from your database. Let me create a, an associated diagram so you are able to understand clearly. Here is your website. Uh, too bright. Here you have a, webs a website, let us say you are designing an, an application that 
houses the name of football players and I am referring to actual football not football also known as bumper egg at least that is what I refer to it as football players and teams and you have a list of different players and teams probably with certain descriptions biographies owners locations and so on and so forth when your customer or your client or user accesses your website they send a request to your database and then the database responds and then sends that response to your front end through your back end as it is sending the response the status of the transfer or the state of the transfer could be considered loading loading data once the response has f reached the front end fully and can be displayed in its entirety that data has been fully transferred thus the state of the data transforms from loading to loaded as in it finished loading if there is an error between your backend database and frontend then the state would not be loading or loaded it would be error because there is an issue with the connectivity that is basically what this entails lastly before we end and in the upcoming video with Nilah and God willing we will discuss how we can use Spring Boot in terms of architecture before we actually delve into coding this will be uh, the, not this episode the upcoming episode be Allah and God willing will be the last theoretical episode at least for now then we will delve into coding and if we need any further theoretical portions we can return to them later be Allah and God willing to access this RESTful API to create the channel I will return to the previous design here where you have a website and in that website you wish to use YouTube videos here is the YouTube Now, in order to create this channel, you need what is known as a service, a web service. Hence why this is called RESTful API Web Service. It is the service that creates the interface for you, so you can gain access to the database of YouTube hence why it is called an API web service this API web service revolves around an important keyword that you will hear regularly when you create API endpoints oh I gave the word <laughs> endpoint what is this endpoint this endpoint is the gateway to the transfer once that gateway is reached or accessed this opens and what and once it opens the data can start transference without the endpoints you cannot create 
you or you cannot open the interface. How do we create endpoints? We create endpoints through the web services. Endpoints are merely URLs, which you would be intimately familiar, familiar with if you use the internet often. URLs or URIs, we can cover the differences later, bi'ithnillah and God willing, are the endpoints. Once they are reached, you access the API. For example, if uh, let us use the example of Amazon from last time. Uh, no, not Amazon Prime. Though this is another endpoint. And I wish to search for Transformers action figures. Now, if you look up here, this in its entirety is an API endpoint. Once it is reached or accessed, it provides, it opens the interface and then transfers the data. In this scenario, it is Amazon instead of YouTube. And here it is the website of Amazon. This is the, Ama the database of Amazon and the website of Amazon in this scenario here. What does all of this mean? We will cover that bi'ithnillah and God willing later once we delve into Spring Boot development. We will understand how you can create your own API endpoints and your own API. For example, if you wish to create a Tom and Jerry API or a Samurai Jack API, once you finish with the course that I have planned for you, bi'ithnillah and God willing, you will be able to do so easily, quickly and swimmingly. And that is it for this video. I hope this lecture was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidun majid